Hello all. So in this tutorial, we'll model a fencing in Autodesk 3ds Max. So let's get started. So very first of all, let's create a fencing over here. For that, let's go into a line tool. Take a line tool over here. Let's create this stuff over here in this way so let's go into the vertices push this a bit here select this vertices let's go into this let's go into this fillet let's use a fillet So after using a fillet, let's go into the vertices, vertex over here, select the vertex and just push it inside over here. So go up over here, go into rendering enable in viewport and increase its thickness so let's again go into this line push this up over here and mirror it copy it and push it in this make a bit tilted so make sure you are making this a bit tilted over here or else what I can do over here is like I can again mirror it in Y axis click OK Now that's perfect. So just push it in this way. Make sure it's getting locked over here. So select this stuff. Duplicate this in this way. Make sure you are locking it. You can select this and you can just push this a bit inside to lock this. Much better. So select this, shift and drag. Again make a copy of it. How many copies you need, you can just take that many copies select this just push this up again select this make a copy of it or else you can just mirror it in z-axis Click OK. Now
So let's open that file again. So we can just delete this. This is perfect for now. You can just duplicate this. You can just duplicate it over here. So that would be uh, locked up over here in this way. So once it is uh, created over here, your fencing is created, we can just take a box over here onto the top of it. Just put a box over here. So 90 degree rotate it convert to editable poly go into vertices just showing you a small example of uh, fencing over here so just duplicate this over here and now you can just make copies so that's how your fencing has been uh, created over here in this way so you can just select this and go into material and you can just give a bit of a blin or any kind of a anisotropic material let's give a specular to it oh that looks good over here so as you can see we have uh, generated this fencing over here in this way alright so thanks for watching this tutorial